Hi guys, so let's now take a look at factors that can shift the supply curve for the firm. Now, this will occur as opposed to that movement along that we saw in our last lesson. So we're not dealing with the movement along, we're dealing with a shift in the supply. And this will occur when the price of a good stays the same. That's the crucial factor. Because when the price of a good uh, changes, that's when we'll see a movement along. But here, another influence impacts upon suppliers who, of course, are the firms, the businesses actually providing these goods. Now, I break this down to a little acronym just to help you remember some of these key factors uh, as spent. So first up, it could be that the business receives a subsidy or subsidies generally. Uh, so subsidies are payments to the suppliers and they artificially reduce the costs of supply. Next up, productivity. So if the business is actually able to increase productivity, perhaps they invest in uh, technology, uh, that will help to drive efficiency uh, and ensure that they can produce more goods at a cheaper marginal cost per unit. Next one, uh, expectations. So expectations of any price changes or any increases in demand is likely to mean that the firm is, is likely to actually want to try and increase the available supply. That could be uh, as a result of perhaps increasing uh, temporary seating around a stadium for a, uh, a sold out event. So there's more, more tickets that could be sold as an example there. Now, next up is the number of firms. The number of firms. Now, uh, if there's an increase in the number of firms that can actually provide the good, then of course the supply curve may well shift to the right and the quantity being supplied to the marketplace increases. So the number of firms. Now, this will be directly influenced by the levels of barriers to entry. So how difficult it is to actually enter that market and compete with existing firms. Uh, and finally, we've got taxation. So if there's any taxation actually imposed upon uh, a given firm's uh, products, then of course that is going to shift the supply curve to the left. In effect, it will mean that uh, yes, the firm will need to pay a certain proportion of that taxation. How much? Well, it depends upon the elasticities, of course. So let's look at our supply curve here. If we take a given price point, uh, let's just put that down as P1. So we can see on uh, S1, we've got uh, P1, Q1, a shift to the left of the supply curve would obviously look like so. And we can see that there would be a reduction in the available quantity being provided in such a scenario at that price level of P1. Meanwhile, a shift to the right hand side, and let's just put in an arrow just to highlight that, uh, and let's highlight S3 now, is of course uh, going to increase the quantity supplied to the marketplace, and we can see that in relation to Q3 there as well. Okay, so that really does help us to understand why a supply curve may shift. This is excellent stuff to understand. Really, really important in making sure that you get a really good grasp of these areas. Remember that little acronym. It will just help you break those terms down and help you to actually determine whether there is likely to be a change in the level of supply. Okay, great stuff, guys. Lovely to see you. See you next time.